So the culture of oppa, onni, nuna, and hyung can have some downsides. I'll try to explain what I mean by that. So every culture has different characteristics and every culture is beautiful in their own way, but there are some also disadvantages and advantages of being born into the culture and also being raised in the culture without really questioning or doubting any aspect of it. So of course, the oppa, onni, nuna, hyung culture has its own advantages. So I will mention those and also more importantly, mention some of the downsides or disadvantages that it can have in my own opinion. So this is my personal opinion, my personal observations. So you might have some arguments against it. So please feel free to let me know what you think. So advantages first, if you meet somebody, become friends with someone, get to know them, and more importantly, get to know their age, you kind of decide who is older, who is younger, who is young, who is nuna, who is dongseng, etc. This does not only happen in really like social situations, but also in everyday like family situations as well. So if you are a young of someone, you suddenly become more responsible for their well-being, right? You pay for their lunch, you generally look after them, you, you know, you feel responsible. And that's a beautiful thing in many ways because you have many extended family members, siblings, right? just by interacting with people. It's something that is found most commonly in Korea. And in my university days, of course, my sambes, my hyung, nuna in the same department or in, well, just in the same school on the same campus would, of course, like this one incident I cannot forget. Like I was eating by myself in a restaurant near the school campus, just all by myself. Uh, nuna saw me eating by myself and she just greeted me. Hey. She's like, she was like one year older than me. And then when I was about to pay for my own lunch, the owner of the restaurant told me that she had already paid for my lunch. Who would do that? She wasn't interested in me. We weren't dating, but she would just do that because I was younger. So it's a beautiful aspect of this nuna, oppa, onni, hyung culture, right? You just look after other people, but there are downsides. Let me get to that right away. First of all, the first disadvantage or downside is that just because you're older doesn't mean you are any wiser. But people seem to take this for granted in Korea at least, or at least around me. Okay, so I don't want to generalize everybody who's from Korea or generalize every person in Korea, but this happens to be the case in many situations. So it, it makes, well, this aspect or this way of thinking or viewing things makes arguments, logical arguments really, really difficult to actually, you know, carry out. So for example, person A, person B, they can have really healthy logical arguments about like something really important. But then if B, person B is older and is slightly upset by something that person A says, he or she can just ruin the entire conversation, the flow of thoughts and wonderful exchanges of ideas by saying, how dare you say that to me? Or how old are you? Something like that, because that is the least logical thing you can say to someone. So in Korea, I think this is quite prevalent, unfortunately. If you agree on something, it's all harmonious, it's all beautiful, it's really easy. But once you don't agree on something, people tend to kind of use this as a weapon, their older uh, person status as a weapon to actually just win in the argument. Do you know what I'm saying? So as another example, when talking with people that I can be bilingual to, so in other words, I can talk to this person either in English or in Korean, I find it much easier to impose my argument on this person if I happen to be older than this person and I'm talking in Korean. So that's not a good thing, right? And the second downside of this beautiful oppa, onni, hyung, nuna culture is, well, this is not as direct as the first one that I mentioned. It's, it definitely has more subtle effects. So what it is, is when somebody is older than you, that person is going to be older than you forever. It's permanent. No matter what you do, there's nothing you can do to change this fact or this relationship, right? So um, many Korean people grew up with the mindset that subconsciously makes them put people in different categories, especially in terms of whether this person is higher than them 
or lower than them. So, for example, when someone is better than you at something, you can just make more efforts than this other person and become better than this person. You can out do them or you can beat them. Here's another real life example that I actually experienced. So I met this girl when she was in her first year in college. I was just her sambe and I spoke some French in front of her, okay, like just once. And then she remembered me as this French speaking sambe who was much better than her at French. And we parted ways and we, I went to do my military service for two years and two months and she went to study abroad in France. Three years after that, we met again and we said hi and uh, I asked her what she had been doing and she said she had been studying in France and she just had come back and she still wouldn't speak French in front of me because the first impression that I gave her still remained strong and that's just an unfortunate thing, you know? So in Korea, I've seen so many people experience these imagined glass walls that are not actually there and they think they cannot, you know, overcome that even though they can. So again, back to the point, oppa, anni, hyung, nuna, just meeting, fr making friends and then calling each other oppa, dongseng, things like that. It's all good, it's beautiful, but at the same time, it can have some negative effects on people's way of thinking. Okay, so these are some downsides of this oppa, anni, nuna, hyung culture. I'm not trying to suggest any solution or conclusion, but these are just some of my observations. I would be curious to know what you guys think or whether you guys have experienced or seen something like this happen to your Korean friends. What do you think? Please let us know in the comments and if you want more culture-related videos like this, please let us know as well. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and if you want more Korean lessons, please visit our website. You know the URL talktomeinkorean.com and our online bookstore is at mykoreanstore.com. Well then, thanks for watching, thanks for your time. I'll see you next time. Bye!